what I find amazing about you, and this is the second time we've met, <laughs> and I feel that like- That first I'm, time was a doozy, loved it. Oh it my great. gosh, it was like four Correct. hours of just wonderful conversation. But like, there's so many layers to your story and so many testimonies and so yeah. many incredible things that God has done. And this is just like one of many things. And I sat there just like jaw to the floor. And I was so inspired when I left because I was like, the faith that you have, you're fearless. Like, you're bold like a lion, which is funny because it's Leo's name, but like, yeah. you know, we just did your shoot and I'm just watching you just like this lioness. And you just, there's this power in you of like, like the devil could throw whatever he tried to throw at you and you're just like, <laughs> And it's just amazing to watch because your kids are watching, mm. your husband's watching, everyone's watching and thinking like, wow. And I left just so inspired, like, God, like, I wanna have that kind of faith. I wanna have that kind of boldness where there's just like, and I can't even fathom what you've walked, but the, when you've come that close, there has to be, like you said earlier, this extinguishing of fear where it's like, because what else can you do? And I'm just like so expectant and excited to see what God is gonna continually do through you. And sweet Leo, can we get him out? Can we get Leo? Um, yeah. Because this isn't just like a one time, oh, Leo got healed. This is like, he is walking up to people telling him. Yeah. Like, Yes. And I'm just like so expectant to see what God is going to do yes. through him yes. and through you yes. and your family because your kids are going to go and the, my brother got healed. Mm. <laughs> like it's just so inspiring and it's so just glorifying mm. and I'm just like, just I just want to honor you for your boldness and your courage and you are doing all the things that people wish they could do, but they can do it. You're just doing, you put in the work. Yeah, I feel like to that, I would say it's so kind that you would say that. And what's probably hopeful for everyone is I didn't start out that way. I started out weak and not believing, right? It's like the journey to to where that was and where I am today was like like a squeezing of of my guts and I I think God can just do anything through anyone and he can do whatever he wants however he wants and I think now just living life like expectant of like what do you want to do and how do you want to do it like that surrender, I think the surrender. Once I became surrendered, I didn't have to focus on my weakness or my unbelief and all of the things or my sin or my rebellion, you're right? It's like the surrender of like, okay, like this is how great the gospel is and I get to grab hold of it and walk. And I think he's just, I, I love this project because I see all these stories multiplying. Like God wants to do all of these things and more people. He wants to heal more people. He wants to raise more people from the dead for his glory, his glory. And once you see his glory, you will wholeheartedly run into him because you're like, this is the best life. It's not boring at all. Like this is like, seriously, I'm like, you don't need to get high. You don't need to get drunk. Yo, like this is the best life. He yeah. does crazy things every day and you get to just be with him. And what's crazy to me is like, we overcome by the blood of the lamb yes. and the word of our testimony. This is, this is that. So I'm like, why are we not telling our testimonies? Yes. yes. Hey bud, you want to come in and tell your testimony? Yes, come here baby. <laughs> you want to come Hi. sit? Sit with okay, can you cool. tell me what did Jesus do for you? What raised, did he... raised me from the dead. He did. Do you remember where you were? Uh, on a hill. On a hill? Sleep, sleeping. Just sleeping? And yeah. then. Boop. 
You woke up? Yeah. Yeah, it was that simple. I was walking down. Yeah. And then... I was on Jesus' lap. You were? Yeah. I can I could feel him while I was sleeping. Did you see him? Yep. Did I can. you see his face? Yep. What did he look like? He looked more like cool. He looked cool? Yeah. I I never seen his face. Um and why do you think Jesus did that for you? Because it's very nice. It's mm. very nice. And why do you do why do you do nice things? Because why? I do nice You do nice things. things. Why do you think Jesus did, does nice things for people? Because he loves us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Oh. Um, and do you tell everyone every day? Yeah. <laughs> you do. Is that your favorite thing to do? Yeah. You told me when you walked in today, didn't you? You said, Jesus healed me. Yeah. Oh, well, you actually said, did you know Jesus died on a cross? That's true. That yeah. was the first thing, yeah. right? That was the first thing Jesus died on the cross for. Yeah. Yeah. Like, for you and for me and for mommy and for all these people here. Yeah. And so many others. Yeah. You're the sweetest boy in the whole world. It's the truth. Yeah! <laughs> I love you so much. Yeah.